Good afternoon, everybody. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Honorable Ministers, Director General, Directors here, ladies and gentlemen. As of today, we have had 3,526 COVID-19 cases in Nigeria. The Secretary of the Government has already told you that we had the highest single day daily number uh, with 381, Lagos 183, Kano 55, Jigawa 44, Zanvara 19, Bono 9, Bauchi 19, Katsina 11, Kwara 8, Kaduna 7, Gombe 6, Ogun 5, Sokoto 4, Oyo 3, Rivers 3, Niger 2, Akwaibam 1, Enugu 1, and Plateau 1. 601 persons have been successfully treated and discharged, and we have sadly had 107 fatalities. As the COVID-19 pandemic increases and progresses, to community transition level in Nigeria, the Federal Ministry of Health and other organs of government are continuously seeking measures to check or control or break the transmission and so to control the spread with tried, tested and also innovative measures and guidelines. Our ideal is still to identify all positive cases and isolate them, both the symptomatic and the asymptomatic, to safeguard the health of the rest of the population, as well as provide care to the symptomatic. And this includes our efforts at intensively building the expertise of critical care doctors and nurses to utilize ventilators and other appliances being allocated to intensive care hospitals nationwide. The sustainability of this strategy may be challenged as time goes on by the evolving realities across the country. The Federal Ministry of Health is continuously monitoring and reviewing the situation and responding with the dispatch of teams of experts to provide technical support to high burden areas and states who are grappling with epi epidemic control issues. The Federal Ministry of Health holds daily situational analysis by teleconference with directors of the Ministry of Health, medical directors of federal hospitals, members of the Ministerial Expert Advisory Committee, and other relevant stakeholders so, such as NPHCDA, NCDC, NAFDAQ, all in attendance. This enables real-time reporting on incidents in the field and immediate solution or mitigating steps. The Ministerial Response Action Plan of the Federal Ministry of Health is about to be ready by next week. Further updates. The Ministerial Technical Committee technical team deployed to Kano State by the Federal Ministry of Health to support in handling the ravaging community spread and providing direction in managing COVID-19 situation has gained significant community acceptance and is now generating a new pool of trained and updated health workers, including over 100 ambulance drivers and patient handlers. The ambulance service being established there is now running smoothly and rendering invaluable service to support Kano citizens in the face of, lockdown, of the lockdown and the challenges with transportation. A technical committee comprising of various specialists was set up and deployed to Katsina State to assess the situation and provide but also report on, the needs, on, the needs, on their support needs. They will be rebuilding public confidence in the health system and creating awareness about the reality of COVID-19, as well as encouraging health workers who will be trained and retrained to show commitment. 
They will also ensure health workers are well protected by providing working materials such as personal protective equipment. CAM has been restored to Gombe State Isolation Center. The Federal Ministry of Health this morning deployed a multi-sectoral technical team, multi-departmental, on a fact-finding mission to Jigawa State at the request of the State Executive Governor. The challenges in Jigawa revolve around the repatriated Almajiris, of whom many have tested positive for COVID-19. The team includes doctors and nurses who will support the State Ministry of Health in Jigawa in setting up and accrediting their isolation and treatment centers. The ministry's, uh, Ministry of Health team sent to Kogi State has returned to Abuja without mission accomplishment. New efforts will be made to engage Kogi State authorities for resolution of the differences. A team will also visit Bono State for the same purpose in due course. State Commissioners of Health will be engaged on a continuous basis to monitor the readiness and preparedness and address matters arising. I shall conclude by reminding all our diligent healthcare workers and all citizens of my usual advisory, which I believe are now well, is now well known and did not be repeated all the time, but also that with increasing figures, we are approaching the difficult era in our COVID-19 response, which we all can still influence by adhering more strictly to all the safety, infection prevention, and non-pharmaceutical injunctions that have been repeatedly given here. Thank you for your attention. I shall now call on the Director General of the NCDC to come and continue.